Nancy Love qualified as the first female pilot in the Army Air Forces on September 7th, 1942. Three days later, she emerged on the national scene when Secretary of War Henry Stimson announced her appointment to organize and lead a new Women's Auxiliary Ferrying Squadron, or the WEFs, in the Ferrying Division of the Army Air Forces Air Transport Command. And over the following weeks, she and 27 other highly experienced women pilots joined the Air Transport Command's second ferrying group, and they made history as the first women pilots to fly operational missions for the U.S. Armed Forces. Nancy Lincoln Harkness was born on February 14, 1914 in Houghton, Michigan, to Dr. Robert and Alice Harkness. During summer break in high school, Nancy soloed a fleet biplane in August 1930, with only four and a half hours flying time. Just five weeks later, the 16-year-old earned her private pilot's license. Nancy enrolled in Vassar College in 1931 and became known as the Flying Freshman for organizing a collegiate flying club. Nancy found work in aviation, first for Beechcraft and then Waco selling aircraft, before she took a job with Inner City Airlines, a fixed-based operation owned by a young Princeton and MIT alumnus named Robert Love. Nancy left Inner City Air after winning an appointment as a pilot for the Bureau of Air Commerce in the National Air Marking Program. She resigned in late 1935 and married Bob Love in January 1936, followed by a flying honeymoon to California. Nancy became a test pilot for the Hammond Y safety plane and later for Gwynn Air Car in Buffalo. The Gwynn Air Car was a two-passenger, auto-like airplane, heralded as the family vehicle of the future. Nancy also helped develop the tricycle landing gear while at Gwynn. In 1938, Nancy returned to Inner City Air and became a business partner with her husband and continued to build flight experience as Europe moved toward war. In May 1940, Nancy proposed to the Air Corps Planes Division, headed by Lieutenant Colonel Robert Olds, in which experienced women pilots could be used to fill the growing need for qualified ferry pilots. Despite having Olds' support, General Hap Arnold rejected the idea. Biding her time, she persevered, gaining valuable experience during America's period of neutrality by ferrying new planes to Canada for transfer to France and Britain. By the summer of 1942, the AAF's new Air Transport Command faced a critical shortage of trained pilots to deliver airplanes coming off assembly lines. Colonel Tunner, Air Transport's commander, recognized Nancy Love as the ideal person to organize and lead the Women's Auxiliary Ferrying Squadron, or WAFs. If the first squadron was successful, other women's squadrons would emerge. Nancy Love's WAFs conducted their first Operation Ferry mission in late October 1942, delivering liaison planes. Later that year, they ferried trainers. From April to August 1943, four more classes graduated from the women's pilot courses, bringing the WAFs' strength to over 225 women. Late in August 1943, the new Women's Air Force Service Pilots, or WASP, program superseded the WAFs. Meanwhile, Nancy had been determined from the beginning to challenge the Army Air Force's policy that limited women ferry pilots to flying light, simple aircraft. She personally demonstrated the capabilities of women pilots to advance to the highest performance aircraft in the same way that male service pilots did. Nancy was the first woman to fly virtually all the Army Air Force's complex, high-performance combat aircraft, such as the new P-51 Mustang and P-38 Lightning Fighters, the four-engine B-17 Flying Fortress Heavy Bomber. Under General Tunner, Nancy was the WASP executive responsible for all women ferry pilots. At its peak in April 1944, the ATC Ferrying Division had 300 women ferry pilots and made 50% of all deliveries of fighters in the U.S. that year. 
Eight months before the war ended, the Army Air Forces disbanded the WASP program in December 1944. In 1945, the Army Air Forces asked President Truman himself to sign the Air Medal it awarded to Nancy for her wartime accomplishments. Nancy Love's remarkable skill, singular vision, perseverance, and leadership by example were crucial to the overall success and level of accomplishment achieved by the AAF's pilot program. For her passionate belief in women and their abilities in the pursuit of aviation, Nancy Love has earned her enshrinement in the National Aviation Hall of Fame.